Oh, hey everybody. Saturday morning, not hungover. I got a, woke up really early, started working in the zine, read some. I did some mail. Uh, someone's gonna get this. And some letters and other packages. So, um, let me just, I'll say up to Keith, Gary, Garth, Andy, uh, Dustus, Joe, uh, Video Massacres, everyone, you know, hello to everyone, good morning, good Saturday morning, and uh, yeah, I still, I almost forgot about, I wanted to write down the Marvel characters I want to see, like, go up against the Predator, but then I was thinking, it's just, I would just probably pick all the characters I like. And then the Predator can't kill them. So I just thought of some... Actually, one that I would like to see would be Steve Rogers without his shield. Maybe he has a shield at first, but just without the Captain America outfit. Uh, maybe just like in a, like as a soldier. That would be, I think that would be really... It'd be like... Well, you know, I guess it would be like him fighting a, a Dutch or a Rambo or something. But that would, that would be cool. Um, the Puma? I'd like to see him go after the Puma. Maybe he could kill the Puma. No one cares about the Puma. Kane? I have his toy. Right there. Hey, Predator could kill him, and Kane has all these weapons and cybernetic parts. That's, that, that could be interesting. Omega Red? That would be cool. And the Rhino. Maybe he could kill, kill the Rhino. And, um, uh, I was gonna do 10, but I was, I couldn't, I wanted to do this video. So I'm gonna, I watched something last night. I'm gonna review Encounters of the Spooky Kind from 1980. Written and directed and starring, uh, Sammo Hung. And, uh, so I heard this was good. And I, I had high ex expectations and hopes for it. I was thinking, okay, maybe it's gonna be like Boxer's Omer. The bo the Boxer's Omen or the Seventh Curse. And it's not as crazy as those or or um or some like Lady Terminator. Well Yeah, I guess it's not as crazy as Lady Terminator. But it is pretty good. It, it, it's like a step or two below those. Yeah, I just had I was thinking it was going to be just super crazy. And there are some crazy parts, but it's not non-stop. It starts out really good. It starts out, there's these two jars, and it's just total darkness. And they're two dead spirits talking to each other. Like, one's younger. It says uncle, but I, I think Chinese call all older men uncle, I think. And they're talking, they want to come back to life. And they're looking, I think they're looking for someone to possess. And then Samo walks by, and uh, they break. You see a little skeletal, skeletal hand break through the jar. And one uh, grabs his leg, another one grabs his butt. And then, and then it's weird. Like one of them comes out, and it looks like a big puppet. And then the other one comes out and bites him on his leg, and it's like a zombie. Looks like a zombie, and to bites a big chunk out of his like thigh, like lower thigh. And he's fighting them, and then it turns out, uh, Samo, his name is, uh, Bold Chung, I think. Yeah, Bold Chung. And he wakes up, he was having a nightmare, and he's with his wife. And he's, like, bickering with his wife. Then he goes to his, to breakfast. He's a pedicab driver. He, uh, like, runs, you know, people around in his cart. And, uh, his... His trade is like he can't resist taking a bet. So they bet him, These his friends bet him to do this thing called, I think it was called Apple Peel. Where they're all, you know, you gotta wait till like midnight and then you look in the mirror and you peel an apple. But if you break this, like it, while well, it's unpeeling, if the, as it's unwrapping, unpeeling, like if it falls apart, then 
you're cursed and like a ghost is going to come out of the mirror. But his friends are just messing with them. They're uh, like they're outside making noises. Like they open, they open the window and one has like a fan and he's fanning the wind in with. It's way more wind than would come from the fan he has, and they're throwing leaves in there. And one of his other friends is actually behind the mirror, dressed up like a ghost with a long tongue coming out, and they scare him. But he realizes quickly that that they're just screwing with him. But then a real ghost comes out of the mirror. And it just pulls one of his friends into the mirror. And I don't think... It looked cool. It was super fake, but it looked really cool. And now, did his friend ever come back? I don't think he did. And then, um... That actually has almost like nothing to do with the main story, though. But the main thing is his wife is cheating on him with, like, a... A well-respected rich man. And... Bold Chung is kind of suspects something, but he's not sure. But then when he he almost catches her and she just denies it. But then the guy that she's cheating with, uh, Mr. Tam, he wants he wants her and he wants Bold Chung out of the picture. So he hires a sorcerer to to kill to kill Bold Chung, and they do that by like they get another guy to bet him like, well, I bet you can't spend the night in that haunted house. And then, but the wizard that Tam hired, like he's part of some brotherhood. So this other wizard comes to him and he's like, you can't do that, you know. You can't use our, what we've learned to do evil. You know, it can only do good. And that guy's like, well, money's the most important thing. So that other wizard decides to help Bo Chung and he tells him what he has to do to survive the night. And uh, it's like a, the hopping vampire. They say this is one of the first movie with the hopping vampires. I I guess so. And it's Yoon Biao. Who, he made movies. Him, Jackie, and, and Yoon. They made a bunch of movies together. But he doesn't, he does a little kung fu. But it's like, he's, because they hold their arms like this. And they just hop. So I was like, okay, is this, is this what the main part of the movie so he survives the night. It almost reminded me of the Russian V. Like he has to spend the night, so it was okay. Then the guy dares him to do it again, so he has to do it again. Oh. And this part is messed up. The, the good wizard tells him, he's like, you're going to need 50 chicken eggs, four dog legs, and some dog blood. So, uh, Bold Chung, he goes, get, he goes to buy 50 eggs, and he's all come back. The guy gives him like 40 chicken eggs and then he runs out and he gives him 10 duck eggs. And then Bo Chung gets a dog and takes it to the butcher shop and he's all here, you know, can take care of this for me. And the dogs are crying and they don't show a close up but it's like a smaller black dog and they don't show him butcher the dog but I was like, yeah, they don't care about, I mean, I'm sure Asians do I don't know if you've ever worked with Asians. I worked with Koreans, and they told me, you know, they've been poor and they'll eat anything. So, but these are Chinese. I don't, I'm sure they're the same, but I mean, I'm sure they don't do it anymore. Or I don't know, actually, I think they do, but it's just, it's just not what you know. Uh, people in the West. Well, I'm sure someone's eating a dog, but it was just funny and sad like you know there's just no remorse for this dog and he gets four dog legs and some dog blood and the 50 chicken eggs and he goes t to the haunted house again and every time the vampire tries to come out of the coffin he's sitting on it he throws an egg in there and it stops it from coming out until eventually he gets to the goose the duck eggs and the vampire pops out and he has to fight it and then, so that doesn't work he 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 survives the night so Tam he's just like well we're just gonna frame him they frame him for the murder of, of his wife so he goes on the run uh, this other guy starts helping him he, he hides in a mortuary like in a coffin then he's on the run to the to the forest and then he just goes into some old abandoned house and he lies down and he doesn't notice there's like a corpse next to him and he touches it, and then the corpse starts uh, 
just doing what he does it's like a mirror but then it, it attacks him and it's chasing him through the woods and that was the, the corpse looked it looked totally fake but it looked cool the makeup i thought the makeup was really good same for the vampire so he's running through the through the forest and he meets up with the police he fights them but then it ends with um the good sorcerer and the bad sorcerer they have a fight where they're con one's controlling uh, Bold Chung and then the bad one is controlling Tam and he's making them fight. Oh, and there's they kill a chicken in here. It's really quick. They the guy holds it like stretches its neck and the guy just cuts it. And you know the the body goes crazy. At least it was quick. They do some stuff with the blood and then he throws the body into a fire, <laughs> like a bowl of fire. So there's animal killing. They don't show the dog, but you know, implied dog killing. Uh, this movie is, is pretty hardcore, you know, now that I'm talking about it. But then the end battle kind of reminded me of um, Big Trouble in Little China when you see them, the two wizards fighting. And for a second, they even kind of saw so I, I mean, uh, Wes, I mean, not Wes, uh, Carpenter, did he? There's no way he could have seen this. Also, it has like an Evil Deadish feel. And there's even a part where Bold Chung's hand starts to fight him. It's really good, but uh, Ash's like hand fighting is is better. But still, this is like a couple of years before Evil Dead. So yeah, again, how would Raimi or Carpenter see? Why would they even watch, like, Chinese horror movies? So. So, o overall, like, I thought this was gonna... There's no gore. There's no, like, blood splatter spraying, like, like uh, some other Chinese horror I've seen. But there's an awesome kung fu battle at the end. And, uh, Bold Chung, he even does monkey style. He does it so good. Samo is amazing. He was amazing when he was young. He just looks like a goofball with his bowl haircut and he's rotund, but he's leaping around. He does does the thing where like he jumps, lands on the feet first on the wall, and then he like does a flip off of it. And I was like, how does he, like with his weight, how does how is he so nimble and, and acrobatic? He's it's really good. So yeah, I have to I watch it again, but it's not the crazy gory sick horror or, you know it's not like centipede horror or red spell spells red like i said boxes omen um god this one like you know i even throw robo vampire robo vampire is weird though or um or rickio you know it's not like rickio but it's really good um i'll give it four hands of fate I'll definitely watch it again. It's great to add. Man, there's so many. And it's specifically like Hong Kong crazy horror movies from the late 70s. Maybe early 70s and through the, through the 80s, man. Uh, yeah, if you like that just wacky, bizarre, evil dead style. Uh, the, the Chinese made way more than... There's not many American films that are like Evil Dead. They, some try, you know, they'll copy it, but they won't be as crazy as Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. But the Chinese will do, just go whack, whacked out far out of left field of the stuff, the monsters, the gore, the insects, the animal uh, destruction, human destruction oh yeah and at the very end when bold chung uh, uh, spoilers you know be damned you know his wife she uh tried to help have him murdered so he beats the crap out of her and, and it ends with him he's just got her and he's boom he's punching her in the gut and the chest and, he, and she's her body's like weeping up and that's how it ends so a lot of people don't like that, but I was like, she, she was complicit. She was gonna kill him, and then when 
it fails, she like is groveling. So I mean, so many people died because she wanted to kill her husband. So she probably deserved that. So encounters of the spooky kind. I'd say if you like Chinese horror, check it out. There's a sequel, and then there's a Mr. Vampire that I really want to get. But I just ordered some movies. I should get them today. I'll show those. But uh, thanks. Encounters of the Spooky Kind. Check it out.